But it's now time for Congress to get back to our regularly scheduled programming, and that means jobs. While Washington has been consumed with averting a default, our nation's unemployment problem has been worsening. It's time for jobs to be moved back to the front burner. With this debt reduction package completed, the decks are now cleared for a single-minded focus on jobs in September. By removing the threat of default for the next 18 months and by proving that both parties can come together to, take our, to get our deficits under control, we have provided certainty to the credit markets. The debt limit agreement largely resolves the budgets for the next two years, so the wrangling over spending should be greatly reduced in coming months. We now have the chance to pivot away from budget battles to jobs. We can reset the debate, and that's what we intend to do. The jobs issue won't have to play second fiddle to the deficit issue anymore, and that's what the American people want. The public is glad to see we've moved to rein in our deficits, but now they will put the political premium on efforts to create jobs. As Democrats, that's our strong suit, our high ground. We welcome this chance to shift the playing field to jobs.